Hello and welcome back to Valheim. And we are going to get started immediately with what I want to do. And what I want to do right now is sort of make a perimeter wall marker. It's not exactly, exactly, but it's... Just a marker, so I, I have an idea for where I might want this wall to go. And what it might require of me to make this wall. And then continue all the way out here somewhere so let's see what I want to do is have it possibly just go out straight out to that rock ish Something like that. Um, probably going to have to remove that tree. This tree is going to have to go because it's sort of in the way. I can always grow more trees if I want some scenery. And all the way around, around... I think all the way out here, making the wall way out here, is actually a good thing. And what I could do is possibly raise this where the, where the water is up a bit. And that way I could possibly have farming on the inside and if I need to I can extend it outside but might not need it but I will need to remove all that water by racing up that's going to require a lot of stone a lot of stone Um, day 45. I don't think days actually matters. So anyway, let's see what we can do with this. I might want to increase the height a bit uh, because if we go, um, I think what I might need is to make a torch, but I... Don't have any resin. No, I do. Uh, so, if we take a look, as you can see, if I put this here, 
It's just about so it's um up to where the first wall is and i don't think it matters for like performance of the fermenter but it looks a bit weird to not have that extra bit of height to the building if just have the the roof start directly basically on top of it it looks a bit weird so i what i want to do is just There we go. So what I want to do now is since I have this I don't think I want a roof that is Deep or overly steep I think I want to keep it as flat as I can should do actually is for these to be full mostly because I think it looks a bit weird otherwise here we go and I love how I can just jump up on top of the roof and the the big bonus with the the 26 degrees thatch roof is that you can actually stand on it whereas the 45 degrees you can't stand on it it's it's too steep so you slide you will slide off and that is one of the issues with that roof piece which is kind of annoying how I do the last bit without making it look weird that's incorrectly placed
that looks to be yep that's good not sure why that one wasn't placed correctly but whatever there we go and go and this doesn't actually need like a smoke opening but I might want to have that regardless So let's see what we can do with this this roof. Um, okay, let's remove this because that's not going to work. That's a bit of too far, but um, okay see if we can do this Come on. I'm trying to... Ah, <laughs> oh, sometimes the snapping is really helpful and other times it's very unhelpful. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do this and make it look vaguely good or just not weird. Uh, let's see if we close this 
off like how I think we should do it. Like that. That bit of gap doesn't actually matter. Um, that could actually be... A design bit, which... Yeah, that's look... That actually looks kind of good. Now, the last bits, however... so sure about now if you wonder how much more building is there going to be once i've done i've basically done everything i can uh, for example the harbor i i can still use it as it is right now but i want to before i build wait until i have stone stone buildings so i'm not going to make the harbor before i can actually like the dockyard before i can put down everything in stone because it's a lot better than uh, wood and everything else is actually done the wall i might show a bit uh, how i intend to build it but otherwise the rest is just going to be off camera and yeah basically everything else is going to be off camera because there is still a lot of tedious work which isn't really that fun to watch so once i've done all of that i will show it i will do sort of a tour but i'm not going to show the whole process because it's actually kind of boring um now I wonder if I could put this there and have that as a guide. Does that work? Does this does that actually look kind of good? It looks kind of decent, actually. Let's remove the... Oh my god. I didn't want to remove that. There we go. I think that's actually rather good. Oh, and then just have that one there. Yes, 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 yes. That's what, there we go. Now we're getting somewhere. And what I need to do for this to work is have you sort of there.
There we go. And that should mean I can remove them. However, I'm going to actually keep them there just in case. Just in case I'm stupid or something happens or something, something. And let's put you there and you there. And that rounds off the roof a bit more and stops any potential holes. And what I'm going to do as well is. Do this. I think we can safely say that we have decorated this. I'm not going to do more yeah i think we have decorated this i think it's actually kind of good looks decent it's not ugly it's not too bad to be honest and what i need to do now is something fairly quick do need more do need more um uh, wood not a whole lot but do need a bit Bit of a world save. Let's get this log and I think we should have enough for that's 50. Let's take slightly more and I think I am as ready as I could possibly be with this base. Um, roughly. It's not complete, complete, but roughly. I think this is... Uh, now, the question is, where do we, we put storage? I think, I think I might want to put it here. Um. Hmm. 
think three should be good enough. That should be all the storage I might need inside there. Let's go to sleep. Oh, of course, I'm wet. I'm wet. And more fuel. And sleep. Now. This episode is almost over, and I have a laundry time I have to keep. So I do need to round this off. However, I'm not... It's not time time, and I do have a few things that I should try out before actually finishing up. What I want to do is try to make a fermenter. Ten of you. Do we have enough bronze? No, we do not. That should be enough to make enough of it I think yes that should be enough to make one uh, right how much do I need to make a torch again it's two wood and two resin wood just to have some right uh, I do need a forge in range to actually make to actually be able to place so what I need to do is actually take the forge with me. And temporarily have it in here. And I think having it in here for the time being is a good idea. Now, how am I going to make do this? Uh, because... I think what I might want to do is place one there and then one there. Have the same over here and then possibly have a fifth in the middle to do random things. That way I can sort of more easily divide it up so I can have Two of them do one thing, two of them do another thing, and then a fifth in the middle do a third thing. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's move the forge back and that's the chime and I think that's actually kind of a perfect spot to end it um, this building isn't complete, and as I said, 
before is this workshop box is probably going to be an ongoing project for the remainder of the series because it's so insanely large not insanely but it's large and i think the only way of making this decently okay is to over a long period of time do some improvements here and there and add a bit of flavor here and so on and so forth so what i want to do is uh, oh my god what, what is the command again it's have a character standing over here i think it's i have to check that uh valheim I'm going to have to go and see what because i'm using the free fly and i can't remember what the key bind for that is Fly at uh, F10. Okay. Just so we can have a, a bit of a, a lovely view of our of our village over here. It's not super good looking, but no if nothing else it's it's looking okay we are slowly but surely getting this um looking kind of decent and i think the oak tree and and such is adding to the ambience and the feel of the environment I might have to cut down like the normal tree that's over there just by the building move that cut that down and maybe plant some trees here and there but for the most part i think this is actually kind of good looking so this is how it looks about now it's actually kind of decent and this is how it's going to look there are over the course of the rest of the game there are going to be updates and upgrades and such and might be uh, a complete remodel of a building there might be a new addition uh, or just an extension or something but for the most part, I think I have all the buildings that I need. So now it's mostly just finishing off um, things and gather enough resources <laughs> resources to actually build everything. Because, uh, yeah, for example, I don't have all the resources that I need for the kegs. So I'm going to have to gather quite a bit of resources for that and then i need to finish off the workshop which isn't done yet and so on and i need to smoke test it and such so but i'm not going to do any more building now we are going to finish off the whole building arc and the next episode what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a bit of exploring down here why well we need to get to the next area and that means i need to find swamp so i need i need to find the swamplands uh 
All right, actually, let's have let's have a view for this. Yeah, that's a good view. Uh, So yeah, what I what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, do a bit of exploring, see if I can find some uh, swamp, um, hopefully swamp with um, the required things in it, and not just an empty swamp, uh, because that would be kind of too bad. And uh, yeah, that is what you can expect, and hopefully. You've had fun, so you would like to click that like button. It would be super awesome and nice if you did. And with that, we are going to leave off here finally. And with it, by saying thanks for watching, goodbye, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.